Hello and welcome to the ukulele toy box. I cannot believe I am actually saying those words. Just about an hour ago, I got the email that the toy box is finally out. And you guys know I'm a humongous Banjo-Kazooie fan. I've already done a Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie 100% Let's Play. I've got Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts coming out later in the year. So I am just so excited for this. When I heard that some of the original crew were coming back together to make another game, I immediately backed it on Kickstarter. And as one of the rewards for that, we actually get to play this toy box right here. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what the toy box is, and then we'll fully explore it. But I'm going to go ahead and restart the toy box real quick, just so you guys can see all the logo splashes we'll get the full experience and we'll just go from there so let me restart this okay i've just hit play the game's loading up right here so while these logo splashes are going on let's talk a little bit about what the toy box is this is not a demo for the game this is not a section of the game that they've cut out and are giving to people to play early. This is something specifically made only for the backers, and it's gonna have a lot of graphics and a lot of stuff like that that are very unpolished. It's really just a way to hear some of the music, test out some of the controls, just kinda get a feel for the game. It's not gonna be a actual part of the game, so just keep that in mind. Some of the stuff here is gonna be very unpolished, but that's fine. We're just gonna hopefully hear some good music, get a little feel for it, and here we go. This is dropped back right into where we were. We've got this little robot dude. What was that noise? Show yourself! Um, I'm right over here, not exactly hiding. I mean, I guess I am a chameleon, but I'm not blending in at all. Step closer, move with the joystick, and jump with A. I should mention I am playing with a 360 gamepad. Uh, this is... or controller, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is on Steam, though. It's gonna eventually be on other consoles, but for now it's just on Steam. So, there we go. So here we get to move around. Oh, I'm moving ukulele. Oh my gosh. It actually feels very good to move around. They control very snappily. Let's see, we've got some other buttons here. We can jump around as you'd expect. It all feels very good so far. Uh, X looks like a spinning attack. All right. Kind of reminds me of the nuts and bolts wrench swing with uh, Kazooie there. Doesn't seem to have any jump attack, at least not now. Oh, we can double jump though. And we've got the little flying thing. I'll move over to that guy in a second, but I just want to get a feel for things here. Uh, B and Y at the moment do nothing. The bumpers, looks like right bumper centers the camera, left bumper does nothing. Uh, left trigger looks like it puts us in a crouch. Oh, and we can crouch jump. Okay, so there's that. Uh, can we crouch jump into a fly? Yes, we can. Okay, so we got some little moves there. Um, and it looks like right trigger does the ball thing, which kind of looked a little bit weird, though the animation froze a little bit. Uh, we've also got the pause menu. Here we've got some options, just some basic stuff right there. And I might at some point turn down the effects volume. It's a little bit loud, but that's fine. Over here, we've got controls. So there's all the basic controls right there. Oh, we actually got all that stuff on the right. If you guys want to look at that, we've got some uh, combo stuff. Now, I should mention, there's a toy box. There's also a toy box plus. On the right, you can see the XXX combo attack. It's toy box plus only. I have backed high enough to also get the toy box plus. So we will be exploring that. Uh, later on. For now, I've only got the toy box. I have to also put in the Steam code for Toy Box Plus. We'll get to that. But enough delaying. Let's go and actually continue things right here and go talk to Mr. Robot Guy. It's got a little text bubble there. Organics detected. Exterminate. Destroy. Kill. He doesn't look that threatening, but he sure he sure sounds threatening there. Bzz. Oh, sorry, users. I didn't recognize you there. I am inept. Welcome to my virtual reality sandbox, a simulation of the real world. Final game. Definitely. This definitely looks like a final game here. Meat beings may use a number of jumping and attacking moves in this test arena. More in the final game. So you can let it scroll by slowly or you can press A to kind of move on a little bit quicker here. So it says more in the final game. I'm guessing that means we're not going to have our complete moveset yet. Let's see. Bzz, traverse. Make organic feelings. Collect all 100 quills for a moderate reward. It's what you, DNA bags, would call a right old lark. Uh, I don't know what Lark means, but there you go. Let's see, I'm just gonna skip through the text a little bit quicker. Bzz, access granted. Press switch to enter. All right, I guess the switch is right there. Okay, we've got a big old fancy button to step on. Bzz, go on then. I haven't got all day. Jump with A and press the left trigger while in the air to ground smash. Well, there you go. We've got a ground smash as well. So let's go test this out. I should mention the camera moves a little bit quickly. Um, we can zoom in and out. It's kind of... A little bit odd right there. It's got like some acceleration to it, but I'll, I'm sure I'll get used to it. Let's go ahead and pound this button. There we go. And that's going to swing open this little thing right here. Drop down the walls, and now we can go and explore. Oops. Um, was that not supposed to happen? Um, bzz, bug detected. Please tell devs they messed up. 
Okay, I'll be sure to let them know. This is nothing to do with me, all right? I'm supposed to be a security bot anyway. What do I know about tutorials? All right, tutorials and all that. So, of course, I want to go and see if I can jump up here. Sure, there's a whole world over there to explore, but I just want to be as thorough as possible. I just did like a double spring bounce right there. That was strange. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to jump up there. Maybe if we're very crafty, but let's just go ahead and go down here. We've got a slide. Oh, we're sliding. That's cute. All right. Uh, here's the quills. So we want to collect 100 of these guys. I'm a quill. Well, a pretend VR one. Collect 100 of us and receive a pagey. I'm guessing the pagey is like the uh, the jiggies of this game. So all right, let's just go see if we can collect all 100 of them. Over here, we've got a treasure chest. Let's go see if we can smash that. Let's take a little view here. Okay, there's an archway up there. I see some quills off in the distance. Another chest way off that way. And to the left, some rocks. Okay, well, let's go ahead and break this guy open. Oh, the organics will need impressive hacking skills to break that lock. Um, hacking skills, okay. Or you could just give it a whack with X. Yeah, that'll work too. Okay, let's go ahead and break that guy open. Grab ourselves a couple of quills. Alrighty. Let's see, we might have to double jump to get up here. Get up there. Alright, cool. Let's go see if there's anything all the way up top. And these are some precise jumps. There we go. Looks like nothing is really up here, but I do see some quillies under the water. So let's go see if the swimming works out pretty well in this game. Let's dive right in. Uh, more tutorial here. If you're sure water won't affect your circuitry, I'll tell you how to swim. Alrighty. Press A to rise and X to sink, then move with the joystick. Alright, seems pretty simple. So X to go down. And from here, we can just control ourselves. It looks like pressing up puts us down and pressing... Uh, I don't know. I think we just press X to go down. So how do we go forward? Okay, so the joystick moves us forward. X and A are to go up and down. Simple enough. Let's see. We've got a little tunnel this way. I'm not sure if there'll be anything over here, but we might as well go check it out. I will say the swimming at this point's a little slow, but all the Benjamin Kazooie games always had a way to speed up swimming, so that might be something that it gets introduced later on if we get new abilities and all that. And I like how um, I like how they're both kicking, even though, gosh, I think Laylee's the bat, right? So it's kind of funny that Laylee's just hanging on, but still kicking right there. So nothing really over this way. Let's go back up to the surface and go explore on land a little bit more here. There we are. Ooh. Okay. Actually, I forgot to pay attention to this. When we go underwater, does it change the music? Let's see. Yep, you can. it has like the underwater effect right there. Kind of something you expect, but I always love little details like that. Oh gosh, how am I going to get up the slide? Maybe with that rolling move we can do it. Uh, yes indeed! Alright, let's jump across, get all three of those guys. Already up to 11, so we're looking for uh, 100 here. Oh gosh, but we can't go up that one, so we might have to get to the very top to slide down there. We'll have to look for a way to do that. Let's see if we can jump on these rocks right here. Uh, anything up top this way? Hmm. I'm not sure if we can ledge grab, can we? No, I don't think we can grab onto ledges, so we've got to just make the jumps. I'm fine with that. I don't really mind if games don't have ledge grab. Oop, not the roll. Let's do the spring bounce right here. There we are. And we're all the way up top. Grab, grab ourselves a quilly. Let's go across this way. All right. I was thinking a lot of these rocks were going to be very slippery, but they're not, which is nice. They're actually pretty easy to walk on. It doesn't feel like I'm really ever losing control of myself. Okay, we've got 17 now. I see the robot guy down there, so he might have another tutorial for me. I'm guessing he's gonna teach me how to use the rolly thing to go up the hills, so... You know what, let's go down and talk to him and see what happens here. Hey, Mr. Buddy! Let's go talk to him. This is good news, users! I exterminated all the other NPCs in this simulation. Now you can roam free! So basically what he's saying is there's no enemies. However, I do believe there's combat and enemies in the Toy Box Plus, so we'll get to that. But let's just go through the regular Toy Box for now. I'm gonna take my time, guys. This might end up being like an hour-long video, but I've got a feeling a lot of you out there just want to see the game, so... I'm not really gonna try to rush things here. I want to explore every little nook and cranny that we can. Here we've got a little, uh, triangle guy, which is very slippery. Okay, I don't want to find out. Actually, I do want to find out what happens if we fall down. Uh, you know, what? let's go ahead and jump. If something bad happens, I'll just edit back to here. And there's the death sound. Okay, and where does that put us? It does put us back at the start. So, like I said, I'll just edit back over there. Wait, hold on, guys. I need you to listen to how cute this is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Gosh dang adorable. Okay, we're back over here. Let's go ahead and actually jump across without falling this time. And yeah, I love the shadows. It makes it very easy to see where we're going to land. We've actually got two shadows. We've got the circle beneath us and then our actual shadow. And I've got a feeling the circle is really just there to help us know where to land. So it might not make physical sense in terms of lighting, but it definitely helps us actually figure out where to go. Oh, 
Okay, so once we're sliding, we actually can't jump again. So I've got to figure out how to get up there. We might have to drop down from below. Oh, oh, we can just do that. That works. Alrighty. We'll grab a couple more quillies right here. Let's see if we can get on top of this chest. Probably not intended, but let's go up this way. Why not? Oh, uh, maybe that was intended. Oh my gosh, almost dropping. Uh, one thing we need to test, guys. We got to see how long can I hold the glide before she'll let go of me. Uh, wow, quite a while. I think that might even be longer than Kazooie did back in Banjo Kazooie. I mean, I guess it's not too surprising. Banjo was pretty heavy. Uh, where do I want to go next? There's so many choices. Okay, let's just take this one step at a time. Let's go to the middle thing. We'll get all the stuff on the sides as well, but we gotta gotta be very thorough here. So let's go back over this way. And yes, we can jump while doing our rolly thing. That's actually very very satisfying to use. I love this rolling ability. It's kind of like the Talon Trot, but it's just one button. You don't have to press the combination to get into it, which is cool. Oh, we actually do have to use the jump right there. Oh my gosh, it almost fell, but we got it. Another jump. This is ridiculous. Okay, once you're sliding, you can't actually go into the uh, to the rolling attack. I don't know what the name of that is, so I'm going to have to try to not fall this time. Let me go try this again. Okay, so we got to jump here. Oh gosh, jump here. Yes, go all the way around. Jump. Hook to the left. Oh, not quite. We've got it that time. Sick. Okay, I missed the quilly, but I'll get that on the way down. Let's just break this guy open right here. Grab these two. We got some trees, and they actually do react to us walking into them, which is pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Over here, we've got a button or some kind of ball to push. Maybe a physics puzzle. We'll check that out. Let me just grab this quilly and see if I can get it without dropping down. Uh, let's see if I can use my double jump. No, not quite. And I missed it completely. All right, let me try that again. Okay, we got it on the way back up that time. So we've got this platform right here. It's got a propeller. It's going back and forth. So I'm going to try to get on this and try to go across here. But I want to see what that ball is. We might have to push it down there and get it into that pink slot. I'm guessing that's what this is going to be. So if we've got a physics puzzle and ukulele, that's actually pretty exciting. So let's push this guy down the hole right there. Before I drop down with it, let me just make sure there's no more quillies up here. Uh, it looks like we're good. So let's go ahead and drop down. And let's go right to the... Oh! Am I dead? No, okay, we're good. Oh my gosh, that was like a really long drop. Uh, let's see, we'll just push this all the way around. Uh, it looks like attacking it's not gonna make it go any faster, so we just gotta push it. Maybe we can do this? Uh, you can push it with that rolling attack, but... or the, I don't know if that's an attack, the rolling move, but... It's really not gonna push it any faster. Okay, let's see, let's see if we can get it up this hill right here. This might be tough, I'll try to push it against the wall. Come on, get up! Uh, a little bit further, yes, we made it! Now I've gotta get around this little curve right here without dropping it. Which doesn't seem too hard, actually. It's pretty responsive to where we're pushing it. And if we drop it in there, what's gonna happen? Oh, we get five quillies! All right, up to 35 now, so we're over a third of the way there. So I think we're done with this area. Uh, let me check this side on the right. I don't think we've done this one yet, so... Let's squeak our way over here and see what we got. And I can't emphasize enough, guys, just how responsive the controls are. It's actually very, very fun to control, which is... Actually, kind of how Banjo games have always been, but I am definitely a stickler for controls. You can't have a good platformer without good controls, and this game definitely, uh, definitely does good on the controls in my opinion. Let's go ahead and grab these, and we've got a whole bunch over here, so that should definitely give us up to over 40. There's that. Let's keep springing my way up. Okay, we're up to 40 there. Let's grab this guy, and one more at the top. Let me just take a quick peek around to make sure we got everything. There's a little arc right here, so let me make sure there's... Oh, there's something inside! Well, let's go find out what it is! Looks like we got a side area. I was not expecting this. And... Oh, I think it might be just a warp, so it's brought us to the other side of the world. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is we'll come over here in a little bit. Oh, wait, is this just kind of its own little island? Okay, this is just its own little thing. I thought this was like an entire huge area. Uh, do we have to catch that guy? We might have to. Let me try that in a second, but let me look through these plants real quick. Like I said, guys, we're gonna be very thorough, checking out every little nook and cranny. Okay, let's try to chase this guy down. Get over here! It's kind of like the egg thieves from Spyro. Oh, we got him! Oh, this looks like there might be five of these guys. Freeing us Ghost Riders, what fun! But in this sandbox, there's only one. Okay, so we can't get all five, but we got the only one right there. I guess it's kind of like this game's equivalent to Jinjo's from Banjo-Kazooie. Alrighty, well, let's grab some more guys here. Almost halfway done already. Let's just go up top on top of these. Take a quick look at these little wood planks, alright. Uh, kind of get used to which button is the springy bounce. Okay, we've got a box here. Let's find out. Can we push these? We can! So we could actually maybe stack these up. Let's see. Soar like a cybernetic eagle. Users hold uh, left trigger and press A. So they're just telling me how to do the spring bounce. No big deal. Oh, we got physics. This is like very floaty physics, but it's actually kind of convenient because sometimes when physics are too uh, strict, it can be hard to get things where you want them. So we'll mess around with that a little bit more, but let's go check up here first. And up top we've got... Oh, we can do ground pound, of course. 
Uh, nothing really up here. Let me let me try ground pounding these boxes and see if we can break them. The attacks don't break them, but do this. Uh, yes it does, and we can actually play with all the crumbled pieces as well. Awesome. And let's break this one too. Just making sure there's nothing inside these things. Not sure if we can break barrels. We can- Whoa, that gave me a big boost right there. I'm not sure if that was just luck that I got that big boost or if that's how it's supposed to go. Let me try again with the attack. No, I think they might eventually add it so the attacks can break these, but right now they can't. And it looks like this one is unbreakable. Oh, okay, so the attacks can break it. You just can't break the big green one. All right. So I think we're going to have to use that to get up top here, unless we can spring up this way. That might be good enough. Oops, did not mean to do that. Uh, let's go up top. And it looks like we can jump across, but I'm guessing that you could have also used the green box. So now we've got some teeter-totters right here. Oh, didn't quite make it. Let's try that again. Whoa, that was a big one. Uh, let's just keep jumping across. Got another one here. And we're up to 50. Almost there, users. 50 quills accumulated. I don't know if they're actually called quillies. Now I'm starting to second guess myself, but I could have swore they called them quillies. But if they're not called quillies, they definitely should be. Okay, there we go. Let's get all the way up top. Oh, not quite. Okay, let's go back. It's a good thing we've got that gliding ability or the uh, flying ability to kind of catch me when I make uh, bad jumps there. So we've got a staircase on the left we can go up. But let's try going over here and let's talk to this guy. Let's see what he has to say for himself. You made it to the top of the island. We're at the highest point, I guess. Now you can view all those pleasing geome geometric shapes and grids. Alrighty. Enjoy it before Final Game's inferior, highly detailed organic art arrives. So yes, this is all just placeholder art. Eventually we're going to have uh, more detailed art as you'd expect. But, uh, well, I kind of dig the geom uh, geometric shapes. I mean, it's kind of got its own little charm to it, especially with the robot guy. Can we actually make it up there? Um, I don't think there's going to be any way to get the box over here, but maybe if we jump over this way... Okay, this is not moving, which is good. I think we can make that, but I could probably also just go along this way and save myself some trouble. It looks, looks a lot easier. Okay, that's where the guy is down there. So, a little bit of tricky platforming, but nothing too bad right here. And up top, we do have a treasure chest, so we can grab that. Probably two more quills. Let's see. User is too high. Frame rate dip detected. Terminate artists. So, basically, it's because I have so much stuff in view, but it, it's running at a smooth 60 FPS for me. I should mention that I'm playing this at 1080p. Uh, my computer's not that great. I have a GTX 670, which is pretty old. It was decent when I got it five years ago or four years ago or whenever, but at this point, it's not that great, but it's running at a smooth 60 FPS regardless. Um, I did play this game at 4K. Well, I didn't play it. I just had the little logo splashes, and it ran fine. I'm not sure how 4K would work with my computer at this in this area. Um, there are some graphic presets. Oh, gosh. Okay, you cannot glide out of that. That's just a good thing to keep in mind, but... Uh, there are some graphics presets. I am playing at the highest settings right here, so it runs pretty good even on my kind of mediocre computer, so that's awesome. But 4K was not going to work out for me while recording, but it worked okay when I was just playing. Oh, we've got some wind effects right here, making us go super fast. Oh, gosh dang it, down the pit right there. Um, I saw a chest, I was trying to go for it, but that did not work out so well. So let's look for some more places to go. We'll go back to that breezy section in a bit, but I see a pretty big section off to the left right here. So let's check that out before we go any further. We'll just squeak our way over here once again, and it looks like we can climb up here. So I'm thinking this is pretty much all the toy box is, guys, is this little area with the 100 quills. So I think it'll be a, probably about an hour long. It'll probably take me another 10 minutes to 20 minutes to finish off this section. And then we'll go do the Toy Box Plus. We'll do it all in the same video, guys. Not going to split this one or anything. Let's see here. Okay, we've got like this glass section. Let's grab these guys. I think that's all of them. Let's push that guy out of the way. I want to get a better camera view, but it's kind of sticking me down here. Okay, there we go. So now it's moving up top. And here we've got another kind of physics puzzle. We have to push this block out of the way. Very simple, but you can already see how they can use this to their advantage in the future for more complex and more interesting puzzles. Uh, let's see. We've got a couple more guys here. And now we've got three blocks. I am terrible at puzzles. This looks pretty simple, so I should be able to figure it out. I'm guessing we just push these guys in, and then we push the middle one over, but I don't know. I'm so, so bad at puzzles, so hopefully this is all we have to do. Looks pretty straightforward, so we'll just push this guy in here. And now let's push this one over to the side, and there you go! Alright, so cool little physics puzzle right there. And for that, we've got another tutorial section. Let's go talk to him here. Uh, greetings, user. You haven't seen any other organics around here, have you? It's so difficult to satisfy the urge to exterminate in this empty simulation. Yeah, we'll have more enemies later. Anyways, what did you think of the different cameras leading up to this point? Do you have a favorite? 
Uh, let's see. I'm advised meat beings can discuss feedback on the Platonics forums at forums.platonicgames.com. The Wi-Fi in here is rubbish, though, so I couldn't tell you if that's just hearsay. So I'm guessing they're asking for feedback on the different camera things. Um, I probably won't go post, but the camera seems fine. It pans out so you get a good view of what's going on. You can see all the puzzle at once. So it works out just fine. It's a little bit awkward right... not right here. It's a little bit awkward back when it kind of stuck me underneath the glass. I wasn't a huge fan of that. Right here, it's kind of awkward. So maybe not the biggest fan of this, but I guess it works when there's not a puzzle. If there was a puzzle section that had that camera, it would be awful. But since we're really just walking right there, I guess it's not that big of a deal. So I guess we're going to jump over here. Uh, can I make it over that way? I sure can. Okay. Let's just spring up top here. I don't know if I've been up here. Does not look like it. So we've got some more water down there. We've got a bunch of bridges. All right. Let's just go over here first. I will be getting all 100 of these guys. Um, is there anything up top here? There is not. And if you guys notice, all the different things have kind of this glow effect to them. If you look at the edges of these platforms, they're all kind of glowing, which looks kind of cool. I'm not sure if they're going to keep that effect for the uh, more organic looking art later on, but, you know, it works. I mean, a lot of games have bloom, effect, uh, bloom effects, but I've always been a big fan of those. So down there we've got a chest. Uh, we've got some stuff on the bridge. All right, let's just go ahead and drop down. I don't see any reason not to, so we'll drop down to this level first. Oh, we got the creaky bridges, okay. We're gonna have some moving platforms over here. I'll try to ride those in a second, but first let me drop down and get all the stuff down here. There's probably going to be some stuff underwater as well. So, let's go grab these guys, and let's go take a peek down here and see what we've got. Oh, we've got a downward section. Oh, maybe before when I went through that tunnel. I bet you it actually led to this area. I don't see anything down here. I don't think they hit any more quills down here, but it's worth just taking a look. Um, is that a section we can go inside? Let me, let me go down here. I'm not sure if that's a section or if that's just a slant. Okay, it's just a slant. Let's go back up top here. Um, how do we get back out? I think we gotta go back up on top of the bridge. So there you go. We could have got to this section a different way, but I kind of took the top-down approach instead of swimming up from the bottom. So there we go. We're up to 76. Let's go back and go across these moving platforms up top. Oh, I might have to do a spring bounce to get up that one. And there we go. It worked out. All right, so let's roll along here. And now let's use these moving platforms. Gonna do my best not to fall. There we go. And where are these actually taking me? I guess over to there where that one chest is. I... Oh, this is gonna be that section that drops me down the big slide. Okay. Uh, looks like that's all there is. I see another arc over there, but I think that was the one I took before that teleported me up top. So let's just jump across here. And let's break this guy open and grab a couple more. And let's see. Here's the slide. I'm gonna not talk during the slide just in case there's like some cute sound effects. So let's go. I guess not quite. Not exactly any cute sound effects. It's kind of sliding. I thought they were going to say we or something like that, but that's okay. Um, we just got one quill out of that. So where have I not been? I think there was another section over here that I still have to go to. So let's go over there. No, I fell. Gosh dang it. You know, just in case they're sneaky, let's see if they hid anything behind. Oh my gosh. They totally did, didn't they? Yeah, I just had a feeling. I just kind of died right there. And then I was like, man, they're going to hide something here, aren't they? And they certainly are. Let me guess, there's some quills up here. Yep, there's a chest. There you go, guys. I would have got so lost looking for those ones. Maybe I would have spotted it from one of the top sections, but still. So it looks like there's just those two right here. I'm not sure if we can go first person with the camera. Uh, it doesn't seem like we can, so we just have to stick with this view. But that section over there is where I'm trying to get to, so let me go back over there. Ooh, ooh, guys, I actually was just going back over there, and I saw that there's some quills down in the water. Let me give you guys a little perspective on where we are. So this is the section where that big slide was. I just jumped across the thing right there, and down inside the water here is where we've got some stuff. So let's go down and get all the stuff we can. I think there might have been a little, a little area to explore down here as well. So let's go all the way to the bottom, grab this guy, and I think on the left right there might be somewhere we can explore, but we'll have to see. No, not quite. Okay, so we'll just go around and get all these quillies that we can, and I guess enjoy the underwater music here. So we're getting pretty close to the end, I think. There's that one section to the right we have to explore, and that might be all there is left here. I'm not sure what's going to happen once we get the 100 and get that pagey. It might unlock something cool. It might just say congratulations. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But uh, one more thing I want to mention about the toy box, just because I, I, I figure some people will probably be wondering this. It is only for people who backed it previously. So unfortunately, if you didn't back it, there's no way to access the toy box. So just keep that in mind there. But let's jump up here now. Uh, 
How do I actually get across? There's probably going to be a bridge or something. Oh, right. This is where the breezy section was where I died before. I forgot about that. Okay, so we're going to try to go through. Let's actually not use our little slippy thing. And he's going so fast if I don't keep uh, keep control of this. So let's try to get up here. There we go. Okay, so if we stay up here, we're out of the breeze. So let's go grab these guys. And let's try jumping across this way. Let's see. There might be some more stuff up top over this way. I'll go down all the way where the breeze takes us uh, in a bit. But again, I've mentioned this a couple times, but we're exploring every little nook and cranny. I don't see any quills up there, but I've just got to find out. we just got to go and... Ex okay, maybe maybe we'll find out later. Let's just go this way now. Get our super fast run. Uh, we can go up here. Is there any reason why I would want to do that? Okay, I guess we'll go find out what's over here for real. I think there might be something, but... Uh, looks like there isn't. Okay, let's just go back then. Let's just go to the end here and see what we got over in this section. Let's go to the left first. Why not? Okay, we still got the breeze. It's still going. I don't see any death pits here, which is good, though. Oh, gosh, it's going to bring me all the way around. Okay, okay, so we've got to go and oh, go through and let's get off to the left. Come on. We made it. All right. We've got a little button right here. Let's go ahead and press that. For our little ground pound. And we've got some quillies. All right. That's going to bring us up to 92. So just eight more. I really feel like this is going to be the last section. Unless there's something I missed at some point. Uh, and here we've got four more. Oh my gosh. We have just like four left. Okay. Let's go up on top of these pink blocks here. Hmm. We might have to go up there. I see another button up there. But I also see a button over here. So let's fly across this way. And this might be the last four. Oh, it looks like it is. Let's go. Let's hit this button. There we go. Oh, we got balls. I don't know if I have to... Oh, crud. I did not expect that to hurt me. Uh, well, <laughs> that was probably very loud. But there we go, 100. Well done, user. You collected Quill's Quota 100, a binary classic. Come find me to collect your pagey. And he's going to be back at the entrance. There it is. Okay, so I could probably just die to go back and get that. I got to say, the pagey looks very cute. I like him a lot. Uh, can we go up here? Nothing quite. Let me go check out that one button over here, and then we'll go back and get the pagey. So I'll meet you guys over at that button. Okay, I almost died along the way, but here is the button. Let's go and see if we can hit this. I don't know what this will do. Maybe it'll turn off the wind. Oh, uh, well, wait, no, a secret area. Oh, where's that going to take us? Okay, let's go drop down and check it out. And it might just portal us to somewhere else in the world again, like the other one did. Uh, but where is the question? We've already got all the quills at this point. Okay, what is this? Oh, we got a secret power-up area, I'm guessing. Let's go talk to this guy real quick. Let's see. Uh, did you know robots really enjoy particle effects? Okay, so this might just be a particle effect test area, so we can check out all the different effects here. I'm not sure if this will hurt us. Not quite. All right, let's take a close-up. We've got this little glowy effect there. Looking cool. We got some crazy looking effect. I don't know when that'll take place, but that's cool. Got a little smoke effect with the purple smoke. Awesome. Let's see. Down here we've got this little star effect. Almost looks like snow. Maybe we'll have a snow power up at some point that'll have that happen. Uh, here we've got some fire. Looking cool. I like the little touch with the blue, the blue fire at the start there. Over here we've got electricity. Once again, it's not hurting us. Kind of a strange looking electric effect, but it only gets the job done. And we've got a couple more up here. What is that guy? I'm guessing that that's like a placeholder for us. So we'll have us with that little sweeping effect right there. And then we also got the bubble effect, which is actually a solid object. So maybe at some point we'll be inside a bubble. I don't know. So there you go, guys. We found the secret particle effect room. Very cool. But let's go back and get that pagey. What do you say? On my way back, guys, I found this interesting little trick. So when you crouch, you kind of slide a little bit. And if you crouch and slide off the side, you can actually do your spring just like that and do like a double spring. It's kind of cool looking. So there you go. We can spring and spring again. All right, here we are just about back at the start. Let's go grab that pagey and see what happens. Let's see. It's going to give us the one pagey. Is that it? Wow, I love that little tune right there. This is greetings, users. Let's see what he's going to say. I have a secret for you. Oh, I love secrets. I definitely love secrets. And it's going to be another button that we have to go look for, I guess. Ooh, what was that? All right, guys. I guess what I'm going to do is go and look for that button. I'll let you guys know where it is once I find it. Oh my gosh, I found it. That took me like, gosh dang, 10 or 15 minutes, but... Here it is. So let me give you guys an idea of where it is, just in case you're playing along and trying to find this yourself. Okay, so we've got that section with the, like, the tower thing that we had to roll up. And what you do is you go on, uh, I don't even know what side you would say it is, but 
You go on the side next to the little rolly ball puzzle, and you drop down right here, and then you have to swim down under the water, and then there's like a hole right here. So hopefully that makes sense where it is. But we go over here, unless this is a different secret, I don't know. But let's go and hit that. It looks like a thing is moving. Uh, what is happening? I wonder what that did. Me too. Where could this possibly... Okay, I might have to go look for what that actually did, so... Let me go look around some more, I guess. Ah, okay, I think I've got it. So I'm still underwater by the tower. The little hole is on that side. On the opposite side, it looks like it opened up this crud. And there's like a gosh dang skull and crossbone inside here. So this might be dangerous, but let's swim up and see what we have. All the way at the top. Let's see, we've got a robot guy. Uh, all right, let's just go talk to him. Let's see what he has to say. This is a greetings, users. I have a secret for you. Okay, that's what I'm here for. Definitely want secrets. All righty. Uh, when real world game releases, look to a pirate ship for a surprise. Okay. Uh, ground smash lone rock under a nearby tree to reveal the way. So I guess this is a secret we have to take into the full game. We have to ground smash the rock uh, by a nearby tree, or under a nearby tree, near a ship. All right. Remember this to find the surprise. So this is going to be an Easter egg. So keep note of this once we get to the actual game. But I guess that's it for the actual demo. I, or not the demo, the uh, toy box right here. I'm not sure if I missed anything. I looked around quite a lot. I think I found all the secrets this demo. Gosh dang it, the toy box has to offer. Uh, but we still have the Toy Box Plus, so let me go put in the code for that, and we'll see what else we've got. Okay, so I just entered the code for the Toy Box Plus. Now, it hasn't actually changed anything. I think that it's an entire- it's not an entirely separate client. I think it's going to basically modify this one. Now, I might have to restart my game to get it to go, and because this doesn't save progress, I might have to collect everything again, but let me just go ahead and figure that out. Alright, you can see in the background right now, this is what has changed. It says Toy Box Plus instead of just a regular Toy Box. So maybe the extra content comes after doing everything again. I just wanted to make sure I did everything in the regular toy box so we could compare the differences. So we've already seen the regular toy box, so I probably have to go through the entire thing here again, which I have no complaints about. I do not mind playing this all again, so I'll edit ahead until we get to the new content here. Okay, so it turns out you actually do not have to do everything to access the toy box plus stuff. There's this section over here, which we didn't have before, and there's this giant slide with red balls all over it that we didn't have either. So those are two little things that we've got. I'm not sure if that's all that's different, but it might be. But just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and get all the stuff from the regular toy box first, and then we'll go and check those two spots out. Alrighty, I just got all the 100 quills again, and I gotta say, when you get this quill last, it looks ridiculous, but let me go get the page here real quick. Alrighty, so here is what it looks like, the results screen, or whatever you wanna call once you've got everything, the one pagey, 100 quills, and the one ghost dude. So let's go check out what the Toy Box Plus actually adds. Now, I looked around and I think those two sections are all that it adds. So let's go see. They might portal us to other areas as well. I'm not sure, but it might just be those two areas. And I think I want to tackle that giant slide first. So to actually get to the top of it, we go to that floating island through the portal thing. So I'll meet you guys at the top. All right, we've made it to the top. Let me see if this guy has anything different to say or if it's the same as before. We made it to the top of the island. Now, now you can view all those pleasing Okay, it's the same stuff as before. Let's see if there's anything different at all. Uh, looks like it's the same. Okay, so let's go down the giant slide. And remember, if we touch these balls, they kind of hurt just a little bit. I might try to hit all of them, or I might try to avoid them. You know what? Let's just hit as much as we can, because why not? Alright, we'll hit a couple at least. What happens if we hit them from the side? It looks like it just kind of pooped. Alright, it'll knock us sideways. We can't jump, so we have to go around them. Let's go all the way down. Uh, okay, there's actually a button here. Let's go ahead and hit this and see what happens. Uh, is it gonna make anything cool appear? Oh, some kind of entrance over here. So that's gonna make that thing move, and somewhere we can go inside. All right. So let me try to get to the right side over there. I don't want to be on the left. Oh, gosh dang it. Uh, yeah, the left just kind of leads back to the main island, so... Let's go, go, go faster! Turn more! Oh, the red ball actually got to help me right there. I was gonna fall off and die. There we go, we've made it past all that crud. And now let's go up here. I don't think there's anything really... Noteworthy down here. Uh, I might explore that later. We'll see. But for now, let's just go up inside here and see what happens. And it looks like we've got some. Oh, I see what this is. Okay, it's different types of floors, and it's gonna have different footstep sounds. So let's walk along them. I like this one. Oh, it's ice. This is the ice effect right here. And I'm guessing this is like grass. Okay. And this is sand, I think. So it's kind of thick. What do we have here? Uh, just kind of regular floor. Uh, well, there you go, we get to test out a bunch of different floors here. That's probably more of a metal, and... 
I don't know, whatever that is. I kind of like the water. I like the splashing effect. And rolling through them doesn't really make it splash, I guess. I guess we just roll on top of the water. Uh, sand slows us down when we're rolling. The snow is very slippery even while rolling. Okay, so that's what we get to test out here. Let me look around and see if there's anything else. Uh, it doesn't look like it, so let's make our way back out. Let me check those bottom areas to see if there's anything else. And if not, we'll just go to somewhere else. Uh, nothing really here, it looks like. Okay, let me jump along this way then. This might just be a way to get back. I don't think there's any more secrets over here. All right, so I think that's it for the giant slide. We just got the little uh, footstep thing and the slide itself, which was pretty fun. So let me go to the other side and we'll uh, jump along those platforms. Now over there, I believe I saw an enemy and I think that's where we're gonna start having some combat. It's over there. So let me see if I can make this jump. Oh my gosh. Let's find out. Can we fly that long? Probably not. Go, 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 go. No, we almost had it. Gosh dang it. Oop, I died again. All right, so here are the platforms. This is actually what I found that keyed me off or clued me into that, that this stuff was only from the Toy Box Plus because I saw these platforms and I was like, what the heck are these? I hadn't seen these before. Uh, let's, there we go. Okay, we'll jump along here. These ones are kind of... A little bit more tricky than the other ones. So step one is actually getting over there. It's not too tough. The platforming in this game seems fairly easy. But there we go. Um, we got an enemy. Yes, we do indeed have an enemy. Okay, let's go beat him up, dude. Let's see what he does first. Is he going to try to kill us? Uh, yes, he will. What happens if he hits us? Let's just stand here for a second and find out what happens. And we just got to take some damage. Let's go beat him up. Boom. All right, looks like one swing. Oh, we got a bunch of them now. Okay. And there we go. I kind of got a little bit of that three-hit combo there. Uh, just XXX. Yes, we get a triple spin combo. This guy's got a mask on, or actually looks like shorts on his head. That guy took two swings. Is that it? Did we do it? Okay, there you go. I'm gonna explore the little area around here, and I'm gonna try to go inside that as well. But there you go, some basics of the combat. It looks pretty simple. I'm sure it'll be a bit more intense once we can actually, you know, take damage and die. But for now, we just got to see a little bit of the attacks. Uh, let me go to my controls real quick just to see if I missed anything. And we got ground smash, high jump, double jump, glide. And yeah, the combo, only combo is XXX. So I don't think there's anything else I could really do attack-wise there. At least for now. Uh, let's see what else we've got up here. And it looks like there's nothing up here. So let me try going inside. This might be the end of the Toy Box Plus, but let's find out. Yo, we can go inside. I saw the, I saw an arm, dude. Wait, I hear a guy. Yeah, there's definitely enemies in there. Uh, where's this going to take us? Um, okay, we've got some little guys. Oh, we get to see all their different animations. Okay, so there he is kind of, it looks like he's walking backwards almost. This one looks like he's on fire or running in fear or something. Let's see if I can get a good shot of him. Uh, 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 I guess it's good enough. There you go. Over here, we've got this guy. Looks like he's taunting us. Uh, this guy also looks kind of like a more aggressive taunt. And up here, we've got this guy cowering in fear. And finally, we've got this guy right here. Just kind of a neutral idle pose. So I guess that might be it for this, guys. I'm gonna take a few more minutes just to look around and make sure I didn't miss anything, but I think this is all the content there is. Yeah, it looks like that's it for this room. Let me go back out and see if there's some more enemies I can beat up. Okay, so it looks like if we go out, we can fight the enemies again. So let me see if I can get a better look at that triple combo. Let's get these guys all lined up perfectly. Oh, not quite, I guess. Darn it. Okay, let's try again. We've got a whole bunch of enemies this time. There we go. Combo, combo, combo. I'm trying. I don't know if you have to time it or if it just you just mash it. Anyways, guys, I think the giant purple spinny thing I got before was the uh, was the big combo. So I guess that's going to be it for the ukulele toy box and toy box plus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I was so excited to play this and it's actually very fun. I'm really excited for the full game at this point, which I guess is coming out sometime next year. So I'll definitely do a playthrough of that once it's out. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If I missed any secrets, guys, let me know so I can go find them. But I think I found everything. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Take care.